Hey guys, there's a lot of talk about a shift coming in the market. And if you're in real estate, you have to be concerned. What's up guys, it's Enrique, PRG Real Estate, brokered by EXP Realty. And I wanna to talk today about you know the shift and what you can do as an agent to combat you know what's going on in the marketplace. Well, let's talk about the facts right now. Interest rates are going up. They've gone up like a point and a half in the last six months or so. So naturally, there's gonna be some shifts in the market because buyers have a lot less buying power now, and that's gonna trickle down, right? All across the board, different price points, buyers have less to work with, you know? So we're starting to see that um, in our marketplace. We're starting to see some homes that are sitting on the market a little bit longer. Um, we're starting to see uh, homes get less offers than they were getting, let's say six months ago. But overall, the market is still moving pretty fast now. If you're in real estate, like I said, you may be concerned like, hey, well, what if the market does shift? And I remember I was around uh, in 2007, 2008 when the market crashed and shifted majorly the last time. And these things are tried and true, right? So I was talking to my team today like, what can you do? Number one is we have to be really, really diligent on learning this information, like really take the time to study the market, really understand what's going on in the marketplace, uh, really understand you know, how the interest rates are gonna affect the buying power. And most important, it's, it's, it's not just understanding the information, it's also being able to articulate this information and present it to your client. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna meet with buyers and sellers and they're gonna be concerned. There's gonna be some buyers that are concerned should they buy right now. There's gonna be some sellers that are concerned with you know, what sort of price they can get for their home. So if you're not able to take all this you know, fear that you hear in, in the news and all this information about you know, a potential shift in the market and break that down into something easy to understand, you're gonna lose clients. You're gonna get clients that are gonna wanna work with someone else that can put them at ease or at least help them understand what's happening. So you have to know how to articulate this information. Another thing that's really important during this time is that you gotta be extra disciplined right now. You know, if the market does shift, let's say it does shift and you know, you're not getting as many sales, well, what can you do? You can, you know, be really disciplined about your prospecting, you could be really disciplined about your finances, maybe cutting back on certain things that you don't necessarily need. You can make sure that you are showing up to the office every day and, and putting in those calls and doing that prospecting and lead generating and all that stuff. So, you know, as times might get tougher, it might, there might be more competition or it might be harder to get business because of any sort of shift. That's when you gotta be even more disciplined and work a lot harder. Now, the last thing I'm gonna tell you guys is that I recommend that you double down on what's working. If there's a few things in your business that you're doing very, very well, you need to double down on those things. You need to see how you can go deeper with those things. Uh, maybe you're really great with social media. This is the time when you should be posting even more on social media. You should be alleviating people of their concerns. Um, if you're not tapping into your past clients, you need to now take the time to go and tap into your past clients and make sure you're in touch with them, make sure you're getting ahead of this thing and really just doubling down with those past clients. If you have a few other things that are working, you know, really narrow it down, get really focused and go all in on those things. So these are just a few things that you can do. There's many, many things that you can do to combat any sort of shift that might be coming up, but you have to have a plan in place. You have to have a strategy. If the market does shift, there's no way that you could just expect to do the same things that you've been doing all the time and expect to get the same results because it's gonna get harder and it's gonna get harder. So I hope this information finds you well. Hopefully this opens up your eyes to maybe a few things you might have to do and really take this time to self-reflect and analyze your business and see if there's some adjustments that you have to make. If you need any sort of help, guys, with coaching, with building your business, um, you know, with getting yourself pointed in the right direction or developing a business plan, I invite you guys to reach out to me. You'll see some links in the description where you can book a free coaching call with me. Let's jump on a call and let's see how we can help each other out, guys. Uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.